This video will be looking at adding timing to your animation by adding some quick ease-ins and ease-outs. Now ease-ins and ease-outs, also known as slow-ins and slow-outs, or cushioning, means adding acceleration and deceleration to your animation to make it feel more lively and natural. So for example, if you play this animation, the movement is pretty even, constant, and mechanical. So we're going to add in a slow acceleration here at the beginning of the animation, and a slow deceleration here at the end. And to do that, click the first keyframe in your animation and select the icon right here, Set Ease for Multiple Parameters. This is in your Timeline toolbar. If for some reason this toolbar is not on your timeline, you can simply add it by selecting Windows, Toolbars, Timeline View. Now in the Set Ease for Multiple Parameters window that will pop up, you'll see a uh, graph, a spline graph editor here, which for anyone who's done physics or calculus or um, 3D animation, they'll be familiar with spline graphs. Uh, for those that aren't, that's all right. You'll get used to um, what it looks like and how to use it in, in no time. But essentially it plots a position or value, rather, over time. That's what this chart is, is graphing. Over on the right, you can see here that the set ease for multiple parameters is affecting the motion, the rotation, scale, and skew. And for something uh, as simple as an animation where something is going from left to right, like in our example, you can just leave all of these check marked. It's possible later on in the, in the future you might be animating something that has different sorts of transformations happening to a single drawing element. And in that case, you're going to want to set separate ease in and ease outs for those different uh, animation transformations. That's when you'll start filtering out uh, and doing different ease ins and ease outs for each different section. But for right now, animation go of an object going from left to right, just leave them all checked. You can change the, uh, the ease in of the first keyframe by using the Bezier handle right here. So you can do it with the graph line. Or you can do it down here uh, numerically just by inputting a number if you're comfortable doing that. Here on the left hand side are left time ratio and left value ratio. Uh, the reason they're grayed out is because this is the first keyframe so there's nothing affecting the easing in going into it. It's the first. It's only going to be uh, easing out uh, from this point forward here in time, from frame 1 to 21 and onwards. So let's set an ease in by removing this and setting the time ratio to about 80. So we'll get this nice curve here, this nice acceleration. Click apply to apply the ease in, click apply next to apply the ease in and jump to the next keyframe. See here in the timeline, we can see that the cursor moved to the next keyframe, which is also the last. And the right time ratios and right time, uh, right value ratio are grayed out now because this keyframe is the last. There's nothing after it. Once again, we'll set our deceleration this time for 80. Oops. And now we can see our entire path here now has this S curve. Uh, which indicates that there is an acceleration and then a deceleration approaching point A, leaving from point A and approaching point B. Playing the animation, we should see ease in and ease out. Slow in, slow out. Now for those of you coming from a traditional animation background like myself, and you'd rather see the spacing between frames visually, Click the Show Controls icon in the Camera View toolbar, and you'll get this uh, yellow indicator showing you the, the spacing of your animation. You can just click the icon again to hide it. 